Hi, BrainTech here, where tech is made simple. So the August Patch Tuesday security update for Windows 11 24H2 KB5063878. I posted on the update, the video will be linked. Is proving more troublesome than originally expected. And this is after reports of SSD and HDD corruption issues. I've posted on that. I'll also leave that video linked. Now a new problem has surfaced, this time affecting live streamers. And this will also apply to the Windows 10 update, which rolled out for Windows 10, which was KB5063709. I'll leave the video linked as well. Now because of this, Microsoft has now officially confirmed this over on its known issues health dashboard page saying and I'm quoting severe stuttering lag and choppy audio and or video might occur when using NDR that stands for network device interface for streaming or transferring audio and or video feeds between PCs after installing the August 2025 Windows security update and this applies to both Windows 11 24H2 and Windows 10. 23H2 of Windows 11 is not affected. Now just a brief recap in case you don't know what NDR network device interface is all about. NDR is widely used in professional broadcasting and content creation to transmit high quality low latency video and audio across networks. So basically it makes this bug quite a headache, especially for creators, production teams and anyone relying on real-time feeds. Now Microsoft says the issue affects streaming apps including OBS, which I use to record videos on this channel, which is an open source screen capture and screen recording app and streaming app, which stands for Open Broadcast Software, and NDR tools, especially when display capture is enabled on the source PC and Microsoft says the problem persists even under low bandwidth conditions. Now, I don't stream with OBS. I just record videos with the screen recorder. So although I've got display capture on, as you can see, thankfully, this is not affecting my day to day. Now, Microsoft does say that to work around this issue, NDR recommends manually changing the NDR receive mode to use TCP or UDP instead of RUDP. So for the steps to do this, I'll leave the website where this workaround is made available over at NDI. And here you can see those two updates as mentioned that are causing the issue for Windows 11 and Windows 10. And if we scroll down, here's how you can solve it. This will be linked. So basically, you download and install the free NDR Tools Pack by clicking on this link. You'd launch the NDR Access Manager app. You'd go to the Advanced tab, change Receive Mode to Single TCP or UDP, then press OK. Repeat on any other affected computers. Or your option two would obviously be just to uninstall the update if the negatives are outweighing the positives. But just take note though, once you've uninstalled the update, because it is a compulsory mandatory update, it will try to reinstall itself again. So I would suggest pausing the update for a given time period, maybe until the next update rolls out. Now Microsoft does say that the next steps are, it's investigating this issue and will provide more information when it is available. So I'll keep you guys in the loop if I get that info. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.